a lot of people want to use AI generated text and art in their work. And that is fine within reasons. There's a whole discussion about when to use it and when not to use it, but it's here. It's a part of what we're doing. So this is how to cite what you've done. And it's very important that you cite your work because if you don't cite it properly, it is plagiarism. Just like taking an image off a website or from a book and putting it in your work with that citation is plagiarism. So let's get on to how to cite it. I've made a few pictures here of um, flying cars. I'm going to use, I think this one. So how do I cite this well? Now, we're going to Mendeley. Um, there is no manual version for AI at the moment. That might change soon. So reference type, it doesn't say AI here anyway. So I'm going to tell you a way you can do it. So I say unspecified. And the title is your prompt. So in my case, it's a 1920s futurism poster for social science research, including flying cars. So that's a nice long title. I'll just get to put that in right there. The author is whatever prompt you, um, site you're using. So I'm going to use Dal E. So Dal E is my author. Now, if I was using something like ChatGPT, then the prompt I put in ChatGPT is, is the title, and it would be ChatGPT is the author. Um, publication, that's where we put our URL in here. So that's where it is. Um, actually, that's not wrong. It's including the full address. So there we are, year 2023. No pages, no volume, no city. Publisher, I'm gonna put um, open AI. Who are the publisher? Type of work, it is generative AI image. Month, it is July, actually. So that makes it seventh month, the day. It is now the 20th in. This stuff's kind of useful to keep because um, software changes over time. No abstract. Um, if you've got a super long um, string, you could put it there as well, but that's just for your benefit. So we've now got a record in Mendeley. I'm just gonna sync this up so that it's in my cloud. Go over to my Word document where I've already got the image inserted, so it's ready to go. Open up Mendeley on the right. Let's give it a second to load. And it's gonna be syncing with the cloud so that our latest references is here. There we are. So we've got our bit there. We just insert it in as normal. Go to references, and we're going to say insert bibliography. It's a standard way to use Mendeley. And there we have it. So we have Dali 2023. The prompt gave it in the website where it's accessible, and then the open AI is people who created it. So there'll be different versions of this for what you're doing, but the important information is there. So we are capturing um, this. Now, you could go further into this. You could actually say the title is generative AI. That that would be better actually because it really is capturing. And this is something which is generated rather than you've created. And if we sort of just sync up everything, that will just do what it does. So that is a really quick and simple way on how to cite generative AI work in your um, work, which is using Mandalay, and is the easiest way to do it. I hope you find that useful.